This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its eighth year of talk like you've never heard it before. In red, it's Alex. In yellow, it's the Ramble. It's Alex with the Ramble. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Hello. Welcome to another week of frustration. Okay. Another week of doing this. Mm. What more can I say? Okay. Anyway, um, uh, hmm. God. A little shadow on my tooth here. This is not a cavity. Hmm. I always look, you know, what, I, what at myself here and just try to, you know. Uh, I think I should I go back to wearing a hat. I don't know. Well, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll ask our 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 guest here, who is. Uh, now, let me see here. Let me just bring him in here. There we go. It's uh, Phil Meyer, and I think, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what are those balloons for? What did you? Well, uh, I'm challenging Biden to come shoot him down. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, I got a bunch of Chinese balloons behind me. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, China's not the only one that can fly balloons. You know, I I gotta say that story just absolutely is the most ridiculous story I have heard in years. And well, you know, to begin with, they're saying you know the 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 spy balloons. Okay, to begin with, a spy is something that's covert that you don't know is there, and it's looking at you. Right? How well, could you miss this thing? Well, you couldn't miss it. It's it was Biden's inaction that was missed, or was Biden's action that was missed because all he had was inaction. But uh, what do you mean? What do you mean you know, inaction? He they, to begin with, they shot down a five dollar balloon with a six hundred thousand dollar missile. Okay, that's yeah. that's for starters. Secondly, I and I listen to the military, and I just I I'm just a, appalled at them. They say, uh, well, you know, that was spying on our on things. They could see uh, cows in Montana, and they could see wheat in Kansas. And, 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 and our nuclear arsenals. Yes, and, right. Uh, and and let, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Do these guys or do they not have a space station hovering above the world? Yeah, but it's uh -huh. looking the other way. Wait, wait, wait. And, and and can they see those same nuclear? Oh, places? sure they could. Absolutely. So I mean, what is with this? Oh, gee, they're spying on us with a balloon. Give me a goddamn break. You hey, know. You know, balloons work. Look, well, you know. Yeah. Uh, but you they know, didn't Biden... notice that on the back of the balloon it said "Gungay Fat Choy." <laughs> yeah, <know>. really. <laughs> Uh, the 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 uh, Biden missed a lot during his speech. I didn't even watch it. Did you watch it? Uh, here, look at this one. That's the uh, first lady and the second husband. And do you see the tongue insertion? Who made that up? Who made that? It's up? a legit thing. It was on all the news services. Uh, if you Google. Uh, uh, Jill Biden's kiss to uh, first husband. Mm -hmm. uh, this is what you get, and they got video of it too. What's so terrible about that? Well, it, it you know, did you notice that Camilla? Uh, you didn't watch no, it, but Kamala, yeah, got yeah. up several times because she saw it and she wanted to go kill him, but the uh, Secret Service wouldn't let her do it. Uh, you know that that was. You know, when you give someone well, you're, a you're reading, you know something you're reading in. No, this no, no, no. Thing. When you give someone a kiss in this kind of situation, it's on the cheek. It's not tongue uh, down okay, the throat. So, I mean, it's a very nice, warm thing that she's doing there. Oh, yeah. It's extremely warm. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> you know, quit being. Hey, you know, I, when you do you, that, I'm sort surprised. Of thing. Well, you know, you know what they called that? It was a wife swap. 
<laughs> you know, think about it. You think that's hilarious? Yeah. You really do. Well, look at the fun that they made out of Trump when he commented on M Macron's wife having a nice rack. Uh, you know, and she does, by the way. That's different. Well, how is that different than the first lady uh, Showing, tongue kissing? She, no, she's not tongue kissing. You just admitted she was kissing him on the cheek. No, she wasn't. I asked. I said she should have kissed him on the cheek. But what 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 I see here is tongue down the throat. And uh, this is, you know, mutual combatants here, uh, you know, and uh, in public. Boy, what you see in Hey, things. you should Google it. You'll, you'll see. You, you, I, you, you know, you didn't get anything. I didn't see the speech, but I understood that he said that we should all learn to start getting along. Oh, and, and they certainly are. <laughs> I, find, I find what you're saying in terribly bad taste. Well, of course. I'm a Republican. You think everything I say is in bad taste. No, I think hey, it's in bad uh, taste. You know, Biden's speech wasn't bad, but it was given by chat GBT. What do you think of this chat GBT stuff? I think, you know, maybe well, well, they you, know, you notice how, how he shifted from making the joke to asking about it because he knew the joke didn't work. Oh, and, I and thought so, the joke worked so just it, fine. Oh, it, no, it, it, yeah. no. Let's it, see. Live chat. Hello, hello, Brian says. Happy Wednesday. All right. Oh, uh, Scott Boddicker says Phil's humor is the best. Hey, and if it's coming from Scott... It must be. Yeah. 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 Well, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, in, in a serious note, a serious looked, note. Yeah. Have you looked into this chat GBT stuff? Yes. Uh, I think it's pretty interesting. I think it doesn't work very well. Uh, how is that? I asked it to write something. I, get, I asked it to write a biography on me. Really? It got all of it wrong. Well, I I had heard that there was some technical papers that it wrote, uh, and uh, people who were in that field said it was about eighty five percent right. Well, I don't think I don't think it's ready for prime time yet. Okay, I oh, think it's being this... greatly overstated. And if that's going to be the nature of the world, that's going to be the nature of the world. Okay. Now, what would happen if you put on a show that was generated by ChatGBT? You think it could, it could do that? A show? What do you mean? Yeah, you know, you could have it uh, generate a voice. No, and... ChatGBT doesn't do that. Well, yeah, it, it takes... Uh, no, uh... it will only do written word. Oh, but written word can be put to voice. Oh, boy. It, it's <laughs> not ready for prime time. Okay, it's, All you right. know, people are going, oh, kids are going to cheat in school and so on. Well, you know, I mean, they've still got to go through it and see where it's making mistakes and it's got to correct them. And in order to do that, it has to pretty well figure out, you know, what's right, what's wrong and so on and so forth. So there's a there's a process you got to go with after the fact that is, you know, you don't just have it write something and then turn the paper in. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you got to edit, but uh, what? How do you get this Chat GBT? And uh, how, how do you? Oh, how do you just type it? in Is your browser service? in your browser? Just type in Chat GBT. Yeah, and it comes up. Wow. You know, uh, I, I, there are projects that I've wanted to work on at, at work, like uh, putting together a manual to give to customers on uh, how to find the store. I wouldn't. The I wouldn't trust it yet. It's no. not ready for that. No. No. You've got to. You're going to then have to feed it a whole bunch of information. What yeah. you know, What these people want is not to have to feed it any information at all. I could say, write an essay uh, on Alex Bennett in the uh, style of F. Scott Fitzgerald. Okay. okay. Um, Glenda, I think, was her name, right? Oh, uh, who, who, uh, who was who was the uh, the girl that F. Scott Fitzgerald uh, went after in his novels? Was it was it Glenda or um, his his, his, uh, his his wife, his, which was uh, 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 um, oh, now you got me. It's oh, it's been see. since the seventies that I read that stuff. Let's see here, uh, chat GBT GBT. Okay, and uh, chat GBT, optimizing language, okay. 
Try chat GBT, okay. Uh, uh, let me, oh, my session is expired, okay. I will log in. Uh, it was a ahoy matey, we've been having a scurry of dogs checking out. Oh, uh, we may be sorry for any inconvenience we'd be causing. Uh, notify when we're back. Oh, it's uh, it's down. Oh, wow. And uh, this is owned by Meta, uh, the Facebook company? No, it's owned by Microsoft. It, oh, it, they okay. bought into it. Oh, it, I see. It, it, they don't own it, but they bought into it. Um, the chat GBT. Let's see. I, I think, you know, that this is pretty exciting stuff. You know, it may not be ready for prime time, but, you know, nothing, even the light bulb didn't start out working the way it does today mm -hmm. uh, when it was first invented. Yeah. Uh, well, it's not, it's not doing it right now. I, I, I was going to write in something and I'd show you that it yeah. doesn't work that well, you know. Uh, it, gets it probably done. works better than me. If it wasn't for Siri, I couldn't spell anything. Log in. <laughs> yeah. Okay, continue. And then I'm logged in now. Here we go. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, text completion. Okay. Well, okay. Uh -huh. Let me see here. Let me. I guess I could do that. What are you doing? Well, I'm trying to. I'm just trying to get to it, and I can't find. I can't find the. the uh, I signed up. I am signed up. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, I anyway. I can't. I can't make it work right. You now. can't get into it. Yeah. No. no. But it, it, it's probably got problems too. Uh, yeah. But um, you know, I mean, it's. I found it was totally inefficient. All right. When I yeah. tried using it. Well, uh, because it didn't give you the results that you wanted. That's right. That's right. All right. I mean, I said do it. Do a uh, do a five hundred uh, word essay on Alex Bennett. And yeah. it started coming up with me working at stations I never worked at. Uh, you know, it, it, every bit of it was wrong. But it would have to have gotten that information from somewhere. It got, yeah. it got the basic information, but it said, for instance, that I was at WABC in New York. I was never at WABC in New York. Well, you were at WABC-FM. No. Well, PLJ. Uh, PLJ, which was, which was not WABC. It was called WABC FM at one time, but not right. when I worked at it. Yeah. Well, yeah. you know, I, I mean, that's that's not bad. I haven't tried a, a anything with it. You know, I, I was just thought that it's kind of an, an exciting lead to the future of uh, of, of what what's, of what future. Well, look, uh, you you can't hire anybody anymore. They people say they they don't they don't want to work the kind of jobs that are available. Well, how so, is this going to translate into that? These these the, 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 the chat a, a, a what is it a, a, GBT a, GBT uh, won't isn't able to sell carpet. No, but what it's able to do is is sell hamburgers. And uh, it's able to. What do you mean it's able to sell hamburgers? What do well, you mean, you know, Phil? Let's what say you, you, you let's say you pull up to a, a McDonald's drive-in. Mm -hmm. I know you don't have a car, so this is something that you haven't fathomed for a while. They mm -hmm. do have drive-ins now, and so you you drive into the line, you pull up to a box, and some computer program asks you to place your order. You place your order. It says thank you. Have a pleasant day. It's nine ninety five for a yeah, but small that's not, burger. That has nothing to do with chat. Yeah, it, it, no, it's, it doesn't. It's, no, it doesn't, Phil. I why know wouldn't more, it? I know more about this stuff than you do. Well, okay? I'm sure you do. That's why I ask. And you but, know, I got Charlie. Well, I, I got Charlie waiting on the line right now. He could set you straight. Hey, I am straight. Uh, un un unlike, well, wait a uh, let, me bring, let me bring Charlie in here. Let's see if he's here. <laughs> if, he, if he's All right. ready and he could talk. Uh, let me see here. Ch uh, uh, Charlie says 594 yeah. COVID deaths. Yeah. Hey, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Charlie. Set him straight on on chat a, a what GBT is it? GBT and what it can do and can't do. And and Alex, you were lucky that when you brought Charlie on, he had his pants on. <laughs> what? What's going on? What do you mean? Uh, oh, can you hear? Alex us? is trying oh, to ask okay. you a question. I'm trying. I was still asking the other thing. Okay, yes. What's the question? Well, he's brought up chat GBT. GBT. 
And he's trying to assign to it all kinds of things that it might be able to do, and he's completely wrong, like sell hamburgers at McDonald's. I don't know. This is that AI program, right? Yeah. 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 I don't know anything about it. I just heard about it today for the first time. Really? Really? Yeah. Well, it's written technical papers and and uh, very complicated ones that it, these experts said where, had eighty five percent accuracy. What does that have to do with anything? And well, it, it, I, it, and when you're writing technical papers, eighty five percent accuracy is no accuracy at all. Well, look, it's the beginning. Do you think everything works a hundred percent? The first, you know, the, it's the, a, the first it's, it's, efforts. It's a little toy, okay, at this point. Yeah. Well, so was the home computer, but you know no, the, the now home, they're more powerful the than home, what we sent. The home the computer movie. was never a toy. Uh, I, I had a 4K uh, Commodore PET, uh, and uh, it was a toy. You could, do, but no, but you could do actual computing on the Commodore PET. Yeah, yes, you could, and it, uh, well, you it could was only a toy lists. if you chose to use it that way. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I had lists of... Listen, uh, when it comes to technology, numbers. don't talk to me about it, Phil. Uh, right. All yeah. I know is I am intrigued by the possibilities that chat B GBT what, has What, the stupid offer. people could now write term papers? Yes, and <laughs> right here. <laughs> yeah. It's just a computer program, and in, in the end, that's all it is. is and so it learns... But yeah. it's still a computer program. And so you can't give it, you can't assign to it abilities that computer programs don't have. Yes, but if it learns and, uh, and, and can uh, put together information, and it did it, according to these experts, it did it in a matter of minutes or seconds. Uh, that every, review, every review by experts I've seen of chat, uh, a, 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 GBT. GBT. Uh, Every review I've ever seen by experts is that it's not ready for prime time. That no, it has I, I it has understand. distinct limitations, yeah. and the, and you know nine eighty five percent accuracy is no accuracy at all when it comes to writing a term paper. Exactly. Well, it, it's a D minus. It's a D minus. <laughs> exactly. These, these get degrees. <laughs> Just don't forget that. No, they don't actually. No, no, they they didn't in my case either, right? But I yeah. did get the D's. Yeah, but uh, no, I mean, it, you know, AI is it's interesting. I mean, what I think is amazing are uh, the what they're doing with deep fakes. Yeah. Yes, uh, that that's some interesting AI. I saw a thing the other day where they took the scene from uh, uh, from uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Pulp Fiction. Yeah. John Travolta and Samuel L. Jackson in the room with those guys. Yeah. Right? You know. Uh, yeah, that's a tasty burger. <laughs> it's a tasty burger and so on. Yeah. And there's a guy in the other room, if you may remember, sitting there with a, has a gun. And right. He's he was of, in the bathroom. Yeah. Well, they replaced his face with Jerry Seinfeld's. <laughs> and I got to tell you, it's convincing. Really? Yeah. It's convincing. Uh, I'm gonna have to see that one. Yeah, just uh, just go on to YouTube has it, you know. Yeah. Well, YouTube has everything. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's amazing. Just amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, Alan took me to dinner Monday night. What, how, how, we were talking about one thing, and you suddenly I, go. Uh, I, 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 Alan I, I, took I, I, me. Well, in. Alan paid, so you know. I mean. <laughs> Gee, I took my wife out to lunch today. Yeah. Did you pay? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I knew there was a reason she'd stick with you. She's not working or, anymore. I, I got more money than she does, so you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, this uh, I, I don't know. I I think that Biden's speech, you know, he was yelling at people. It was Chat GBT. Wait a minute, he was yelling at people. How about the people yelling at him? I'm mean, Marjorie yeah. Taylor yeah, well, Green. What a cunt! Oh, uh, you know uh, when when he was talking about the border. Uh, uh, people were yelling. I, I think they yelled, "You failed," and and things like that. Uh, I I, th I thought it was great. Yes, yes Charlie, set him straight. Actually, uh, who was it? That new congressman, that real young guy, at uh, the border guards has the policies 
at the border changed one bit from when Donald Trump was president. And they all said, no, that's the exact same policy at the border that they had under Donald Trump. Yep. What, what, what border guard was that that they found? It, it was the supervisor of border guards. There were at least two of them there in the, in the meeting that I saw. Well, there's hundreds of them that I see uh, on, on the news. On that, Fox that goes. Yes, on yeah. Fox. So you yeah, get you get two. Well, wait, listen to Charlie. He knows what he's talking the about. The policy has not changed. Joe Biden has not changed one rule. Has no, having to do. He there hasn't. is no open border. There's no, he no has not. Border. You're right. He has not changed one rule. He just hasn't enforced any of them. Well, well show me that. Show me that. That I don't see that. Well, yeah, yeah I can show you that there's <laughs> millions. His job, his job, there's... his job is only to give the rules. His rule the job is not to enforce them. Well, yes, it is. No, it because, isn't. He can't, well, not, why are there what, what hundreds of thousands? What do, you, what do you want him to do? Go down there and stand at the border and enforce yes, it? There, there's, he hasn't done that yet either. But there's hundreds of thousands of people crossing uh, illegally no, and, uh, and, and thousands that aren't even are no uh, been encountered. There are crossing the border now that were crossing under Donald Trump. Yeah, except the ones that were crossing under Donald Trump got sent back and we and we're no, told they are. They're, 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 they're actually, you know what's amazing? What's, amazing? what's a, what's amazing about you? If you look at the rule, the data, what, what's, amazing, what's amazing? What's I amazing? At what's amazing about you, Phil? Is yeah. here you got a guy who lives in Texas. He's intimately aware of this situation. It's happening yeah. to his. state. Hold on, it's happening to his state. Okay, where where's El Paso? Okay. It's okay. in Texas, but yeah. where's Austin? It's in uh, Liberalville, right? <laughs> Austin is a lot closer to the border than Florida. Yeah. What's what's that? The, you know, Florida's uh, where they've been exporting people from Texas to send up to New York. They've been sending them from Texas to Florida, and Florida's yeah. been sending them to New York. Well, they're nice. You know, they, they want to send them to places where they want them. But uh, I noticed that Charlie has his lights on. And, um, Finally, yeah. Yeah. So uh, what's – is it the weather that uh, caused the, these no, issues? They no, they just hooked up Abbott, uh, Abbott's uh, wheelchair to the grid. So when he pushes it, it – Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It sucked up all the power and all the rest of us were in the dark. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, if you pay that light bill – Maybe they'll turn it on. Oh, that's what's funny, too, is while my lights were off, and they've been off for three days, guess what I received in the mail? A, the bill, mail. a bill. A bill. I got my electric bill. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know about your electric bill, but mine doubled this month, and it wasn't because of extra usage. Uh, the bill, I, I have a two-bedroom, 1,000-square-foot apartment. You know, and it's, it's not on the top floor, so I'm surrounded by other yeah, apartments yeah, and it's comfortable. Two hundred and thirty-seven bucks. But anyway, of that, I, of that bill, only a hundred and one was electric. The rest was delivery charges. How much was your bill? Two thirty-seven. Yeah, mine was over three hundred. So don't. Yeah, but you got a twenty-five hundred square foot apartment, <laughs> and, and I, I'm living in a thousand square feet. Hmm. Hmm. Two and you got six TVs. I got one, you know, that I use. Excuse me, I only have five TVs. Oh, one did one break? No, it was five TVs. <laughs> yeah. But uh, and you know, how many computers do you have on at the same time? In this room, one, yeah. two, three, four. NASA doesn't have that no, many computers. Uh, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Lord. Uh, you know, actually, these computers I have here don't use much electricity. Yeah. You know, I mean, uh, this one barely gets warm, the, the one I'm using for the, the show. One. Yeah. yeah, and uh, a couple yeah, of the I other think. ones, they're, just, they're not using a major amount of electricity. Yeah. So. The, the garbage can gets warm. Well, garbage can gets very warm. I have her computer now is the garbage can. I ah. hooked up the old. It's Garbage still a great computer. For... Oh, yeah, it's a but, great computer. Uh, you know, uh, I have a computer I leave on all the time. I have a television that I leave on all the time. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I don't even have a cable box. Uh, uh, 
the heat issues, uh, it doesn't really get cold enough that you need the heat. And I have a I have a blanket that hot uh, warm well, I, air. Well, I don't heat. even I don't even use electricity for heat because they they have, you have they, steam. They have, have radiators. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and your and so your bill is outrageous also when you think about it. Well, it is a big apartment, you know, yeah. and I mean, and and Marjorie leaves a lot of the TV sets on, <laughs> you know, which yeah. is kind well, of. Is it true? Consuming. And Charlie might know this as well as you. Uh, turning the TV on and off is what makes it wear out. Leaving it on doesn't no, uh, no, doesn't. You're affect absolutely it? wrong. The oh, problem, really? the problem is leaving your TV set plugged in, is uses yeah. up electricity because they're always on. All you're doing yeah. when you flip the switch is yeah. it's simply closing a circuit and letting the picture come onto the tube. But basically, the TV sets are always on. Am I right, Charlie? They draw a lot of power just sitting there. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I have a LED or it's not plasma. I think it's. Uh, it doesn't matter. What I'm saying is, TV sets are always on. You know how they how they said, oh, at what time they started having TV sets? They were instant on TV sets. Right. And the reason they were instant on is because they were always on. You just flipped a switch to get them working completely, completing the circuit. The thing is Which, that um, uh, if you didn't have that that way, it would take about 30 seconds for your TV set to warm up. Was that in the day of the tube TV rather than the... Uh, well, the tube TV, but now, I mean, the same thing is true. The same thing now, though. Actually, yeah, the tube TVs don't eat up as much electricity as... Uh, it, it used up more electricity than these current sets, these big LEDs, you know. They don't use yeah, they, were, they had a capacitor in the back that if you touched it, you could get electrocuted. Or at least that's what my mother said. Well, know. she wanted you to touch it. Yeah, oh, touch it. <laughs> You know, yeah. but I mean, you know, I mean, you just have to understand, Phil, that there's some people that know more about science right here on this show right now. All I know is do. the Jim Browning spot that mm -hmm. you do on me. Yes. It's all coming true. It, 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 Chinese okay. drone army. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. No, it's not a Chinese drone yeah. army. <laughs> what the balloon just that story just to, I, it's it's such a non story. It's such yeah. a non story because. It, it, when I hear the army say to me, well, you know, it was dangerous because they could be spying on nuclear plants and so on, and I'm going, you know something? They've got a goddamn space station. They can see everything down here with a, high, a pair of high-strength uh, binoculars, you know? I mean, yeah. they, can, they can see it all. They don't need the balloon to tell them that stuff. Am I right, Charlie? That's exactly right. They can see anything they want to see from their, their satellites. And then again, I said you shoot down a lousy party balloon uh, that maybe costs $1.50, and uh, you uh, shoot it down with a $600,000 missile. That's really good, isn't it? When's the last time you bought a balloon for a buck fifty? Yeah, well, that's anyway. like taking the subway for fifteen cents. The thing is, the thing is that it was, uh, it was a, you know, it's a good, uh, it's a great balloon. You know, it's a terrific balloon. Uh, well, uh, I, and I and guess well, they hold three, three buses worth of uh, equipment. I mean, it's a yeah. huge oh, they do? payload it had. The yeah. one that they shot down, yeah. Well, they, they're supposedly finding over the debris field uh, parts of it, and, uh, you know, we'll see whether it was... I don't right care what they find or what they say no. they find. The fact is it was a stupid thing to begin with. To begin with, they've, been, they've had those balloons going up there for years now. And well, Trump, have... Trump didn't shoot one down. Nope. No. And uh, they knew there was one, and they knew there was one back in Trump's presidency. Yeah. Uh, Actually, we're although, that he didn't shoot down. Yeah, that one had a banner that said "Elect Trump" on it. Uh, the you know in the World War II. Yeah, move on Nazis, fast because that wasn't funny. Yeah. yeah, there were Nazi subs that went in near on the coast of New Jersey, uh, South Carolina, uh, uh, even New York Harbor. There were these U-boats, and uh, some of them some of them were sunk. I. I read a book called well, Shadow Divers. What does that Divers? have to do with what we're talking well, about? Well, the, the Chinese sent over a balloon to spy on us, 
uh, there were U-boats from Could the it, Nazis. You know something, in, under any other circumstances, that balloon would be identified as and told to be a weather balloon. But because the United States wants to make a big deal out of it, it's a spy balloon. But really, in reality, it's a weather balloon, and it didn't have any more going for it than any other weather balloon, which a lot of times they send up to get meteorological uh, information. I'm sure that's what China was doing here. They and can't guide that they thing. Can. They can't guide that thing over a nuclear uh, uh, plant or anything like that. Well, they have to go wherever the trade winds take it. Well, then why did it uh, its path? Uh, across so many it just uh, because that's areas. where that's, that's where, where the wind blew. that's where the wind blew it all right because well, you can't send one of those balloons you can't dictate where that balloon goes it you send it up and it gets carried by trade winds okay and that's it yeah the the guy that owned uh, owns a virgin atlantic uh, mm -hmm. what's what's his name he he's a balloonist and he he flies all over in in balloons, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, helium balloons. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, Tony's glowing. Tony, Tony, go get a rag. It's yeah. the old my old laptop. I put Linux on. Oh, it's, can you really see me clear? No, oh, no, you got fog all over. If you would clean it. Oh, it's now it's worse. it's worse. Now you smeared it. What did you do? Rub your seeds on it? That's much better. Much better. Just stay there. <laughs> that could be. Could be. There's nothing wrong with this picture. It's just the radiation from the seeds. Oh yeah, um, that's true. And I heard I was in recovery, and I had they gave me my phone. It was at the desk, and I was listening to the show half out of it. How can you say the Wizard of Oz wasn't great? It's like, ladies, like, what are you talking about? My brother was coming to pick me up. They oh, gave me the phone. Okay, so wait a minute. You so you had your you had your seeds, right? Yeah, I was in recovery, so she gave me the phone. Okay, with. well, don't, don't let any children sit on your lap. That's what she told Alex. I did. I tested the guy, Alex. What you said. Remember, you said, "Does he know?" What do you mean? You tested the guy. What do you I, mean? You tested uh, the uh, guy. Talking about his doctor. Remember when you said, tested, you said? He said tasted. No, he, remember you said, "Do they really know the patients?" names and like if, you know what i'm saying yeah so something so i'm sitting in a room it's like if you go underneath it's like an or underneath the building mm -hmm. so i go downstairs my brother and them sign me in so this is you're going to stay away for your brother this is probably it's going to be like four hours so oh, i'm going to go shopping four and hours stuff. well yeah they, they by the time they it was like three hours but less than that because no they had it to takes, takes two hours for the prep but it only takes 45 yeah. minutes for the uh for the procedure exactly so then he says, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm going to go to the mall. I says, all right. I says, if they got the Spider-Man wobble, I says, buy it for me. They didn't have it. I says, all right, don't worry about it. So anyway, they bring me downstairs. So they put me in the room, right? Like in a little like a little room, the nurse comes in. She hits my arm. She's doing the OR, prepping me, right? Mm -hmm. So I was like, I was a little nervous about getting knocked out. So then she, the Dr. Sean walked by, the guy who's going to do it. He said, hey, how you doing? I said, oh, how you doing? He goes, I'm a little nervous. I've only been knocked out once. I says, Did he only thinking. say, how you doing? No, so I, so I was thinking about what you said when he came to me, Alex. So he says, listen, Tony, you'll be fine. He knew my name right away, but he did have a chart on him. He yeah. says, how are the comics going? I said, oh, they're going pretty good. I said, shit, so he knows I'm a CGC deal. So yeah. Alex yeah. might be wrong. This guy might not. So he goes, then he goes like this. I thought of you, Alex. I should, if I had my phone, I would have called me. He goes, don't worry. He goes, you're the fourth one of the day. I says, I don't know if that's good or bad. I said, I'm the fourth one. Alex, would that be good or bad? I think he wants to go home. Well, no, you, know, <laughs> you want a guy who's done. My my guy has done over 4,000 in his he lifetime. He's saying, I do it so much, it's nothing. You're in good hands. Just don't worry about it. It's nothing. Well, yeah, yeah. Unless, huh? But Alex, four in one day? He said, I'm done after this. Well, I got to do uh, office work. But, but wait a minute. The picture, you, the picture Phil's got on what? behind him that he had comments. Mm -hmm. He's jealous that the first, that this guy was not kissing him. I saw that. That oh, did look oh, a little wild. Wait, wait a minute. Let's yeah, take. Let's see it later. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. One topic yeah. at a time. Yeah, I'm getting confused. Okay, you're going to give me a headache. Oh, because he put yeah. the picture back up again. Yeah, you know yeah. me. I got ATT after all. So then, Alex, I said, I said, Sean, you mean I'm number four? He goes, yeah, don't worry about it. He says, I'm this is being an out. He told me it only took about like you said, maybe thirty-five minutes. You were quick. Hey, Tony, 
You're on GabNet. You're number one. We're number one. <laughs> what did he say? Oh, I asked him this, Alex, because I couldn't go near. I had to call him. You today. asked him? Did you Did you yeah. kill him? Yeah. You know what I did? I says, last night, I when I got home the other night, I was a little sick for the anesthesia, so I slept upstairs by my mom's apartment. I says, you know, I didn't want to sleep near the dogs because Pebbles likes to lay on my feet. Rude. So I said, listen, I said, I called him up. I said, this may sound stupid, I said, but I know I can't go near married women says, and kids. That's no problem, I said. But I got a stupid question. Says, no question is stupid, all right? I says, can my dogs lay on my feet? Yeah, don't worry about the pets. Don't worry about it. They, you're not, not going to kill them. All right. I mean, he better. The worst that could them. happen is you could see them in the dark. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so he says, you're fine, he says. I said, all right. Okay. My so, brother, anyway. that was it. It went, Alex, you're right. It went smooth. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I'm just taking my medicine before I go. The to only sleep problem, the only thing is, they put you out. They didn't put me out. I was going to ask. Would you, I saw the picture. Were yeah. you up for that? Yes, I was awake. How did you, Alex? Was that painful? I was going to ask you that. Of course, it was painful. He he is a masochist. He loves. Pain. No, they turned me into Patrick Blazik. Is what they did. I, I they, they numbed they, Alex. That yeah. had to be hard. No, you didn't jump. No, they numbed me from the waist down. I couldn't That's feel cool. anything. I was going to say, I don't know how you did that up. Alex, when the no, guy came in, the me. anesthesiologist, he goes like this. How's everything going? He says, oh, I know you like, so he said, what TV shows you like? So it's like comedy. He says, I like Lucy. I says, I like Seinfeld. Did you he send goes, him any like coffee, Seinfeld? by the way? You didn't send him coffee. I had a couple of cups, even though they oh, said, you gee. know. So then he goes like this, Dr. Lou goes like this. He goes, don't be like George. He says, well, I like George on the show. He says, and the next thing I know, I was in recovery. You know, I, I used to sound like him when I was on coke. I know this. This is the, this is the medicine they suit me up with, Alex. I don't know how you stood up for that. I would have been a nervous wreck. What do you mean? It, 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 told you they numbed him up. It's the called a spinal. It you don't feel a oh, damn spinal. thing. They should have gave and me then, and then he get, then they gave me some uh, some uh, I don't know uh, uh, happy pills or something, some happy stuff. And I was kind of half in, half out. I, okay. you know. But then when I had to get up, when I, you know, when it was over, I wanted to get up and just go home, and I couldn't for three hours because I had to wait to, be, uh, to unnumb. Oh yeah, you probably really when I that. when I had my uh, stents, the heart stents. Yeah. You're, mm -hmm. I I was talking to the doctor, looking yeah. at the screen. I could see where the probe was. Uh, yeah. You know, in fact, you in fact, okay. that that's one of the shots of, of that they took at the time, right in back of you now, of your stents. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what's weird though when he goes, and then when you, he says, "I'm going to put the IV in." It was already in though. He says, "All right, I'm going to give you a little medication that's going to relax you, Tony. Just think good thoughts." And the next thing I know, I'm in the recovery room. I yeah. Say, oh yeah. No, no, no. He yeah. came walking by. He says, "What was the last thing you said?" I says. Uh, George Costanza. Yo, you remember that? I says, yeah. I says, now you're done. And he says, how come I don't remember this? He says, that's how. Oh no, I, 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 when yeah, I mean, when I've been put out for stuff, you know, it's like they, it's like they edit 25 minutes of your yeah, life what out. Is, yeah. is that? How do they do that? that? The colon like, how do they do that? that? They put way. that in your veins, and you go, you you go into, uh, you know, you're not exactly out. Oddly enough, it was I sleeping out. That's what I was going to ask him. Was I sleeping? Boy, just shut up, Tony. I know. Yeah, we, the the doctor, and we hope so. Did you have a dream? No, oh, actually, I no. wanted to dream of my mother or something. I didn't dream of shit. You don't have any dream at all. You, I don't it, have nothing. Just, I just wasn't waking up. Alex. You've been put out, haven't you, Phil? Yeah, I had a colon. Did they ever revive you? Uh, is, they don't, they don't I was out. This is the guy who beat me on the rug. <laughs> now, what is it? So it looks like uh, Jeff. It looks like he's got a power outage. Really? Yeah. Poor Charlie was out for two days down there. Uh, you have any lights on there, Jeff? Uh, he's muted. I mean, that's full open kissing there. <laughs> oh, my oh, God. Yeah. I know. That's the, well, would kiss. you get rid that's of that, Phil? Kiss. Get rid of that, Phil, because it, uh, it really is distracting. Look at the other person staring at him like, what's going on? <laughs> that's a tongue kiss. That was not a cheek kiss. That was a full on right down the throat, or you know, behind the teeth. Two that was standing there and, oh, and got God. that tongue down your throat. Yeah, that tongue was so far down her throat that, and hers his that they got yesterday's lunch out of the other one's teeth. That's that's how far down it was. Mm -hmm. Stay stay with carpet linoleum. Yeah. Comedy 
not your thing. <laughs> I yeah. feel a little tired. But, oh, uh, but, 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 you, right, know, nice you. you know, I, I just find it, and I found it in bad taste when they did it to Obama, and I find it in bad taste. I would find it in bad taste if anybody did it to Trump, and they didn't. Is the guy's giving his State of the Union address, which is a useless thing anyway, but he get, was giving it, and all of a sudden you got Marjorie Taylor Greene heckling him. I mean, that woman should have been thrown out of the room. That's not right. That's no hey, respect. Joe Biden was giving it. You know. She yelled oh, out liar. And yeah, you know, nobody it true. Is that a her? AOC didn't do that when Trump was giving his speech. And, yeah. and you know, that's, I think, exactly what they said to Obama, what the guy yeah. shouted out. And the Republicans came down on him. They didn't do anything to her. No, they're getting worse. Yeah. Now. What did they do to Santos? Did he say anything, do anything? No, what happened with Santos was uh, he wanted to get down closer in front or something, and he bumped into Romney. And oh, Romney said, why don't you just get out of here? You, you don't, know, belong, you you don't, don't belong, belong in the Senate, or in the Congress, wow. rather. And, and Romney does. does, all right. Be, well, Romney does. I mean, he's yes, a... he does, because he's a senator. He's a senator. Yeah, and he's, he didn't lie to get elected. He didn't lie to get elected. Yeah. Well, uh, didn't please so don't Santos, stand don't stand up for Santos, okay? But Santos is a congressman, right? Yeah. Yeah. He's gonna and, stand up for him. He and wasn't he? All the time. Here we go. Wasn't he he, part of that uh, the function that was there for the state for the state of the uh, union? Didn't you watch it? Yeah, I did. Uh, you know, as much as I could stand because. Uh, uh, the Biden Biden twisted so many facts. You know, you know there was a half a million Trump. jobs. I listened to Trump every one of his speeches. There was a half a million jobs. Sure, there were. If you want to work in a hotel laundry, or uh, you know, you're a maid, or in uh, in some sort of service trade, or uh, you have you know, no clue that's where, you're... or barista. You have no, you have that's no where the jobs were. Well, well, listen, oh, what's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that, but then why he, are you bringing it up? Because it's he's promoting, you know, doesn't people, matter where they're from. No, what you're what you're in. saying, Phil, is that some jobs are worthwhile and others aren't worthwhile. Well, some are worth more than well, others. I'll tell you something. You know who has the the most important job, so far as I'm concerned, the guy who, for instance, someplace cleans toilets, because he's cleaning my shit. Okay, well, after and carpet he, conventions, huh? after carpet conventions are the worst. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you know, I'm not. I'm not saying that jobs aren't worthwhile. No, but you I'm just said that, that, Phil. That's that what you created. implied. That's what you implied. Now, you can imply anything you want from what I said. It's just that the jobs that he created weren't high-paying uh, jobs that give uh, a, a leg up to our country. It does. <laughs> It doesn't matter. No, all those tech jobs, thousands but the, of tech But there jobs are people the who there are people away. who don't have no, no, no. the... Oh, oh. Say, say it, Brian. You you know what I was going to go at. Phil, go don't ahead. start saying these tech jobs are going away in California, because that's bullshit. Everything that gonna... happened with COVID, shut up for one second. Everything that's happened for COVID, everybody ramped up. Right. Everybody ramped up. And now they're going back and looking at all this stuff, and they say, well, there's no COVID money, so now they got to start trimming back down. They need to start getting back to real, you know, reality. And that's I what's understand. going on in the tech world. Yeah. Everyone juiced up too much in that time, and now it's coming back down, and now they're looking at it going, wow, why do we have so many people here? We need to start cutting because all this juice money that they're getting, all this juice they're getting, isn't there anymore. That's true. That's what caused all the inflation, or a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, 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 no. Don't say it's because of Biden. Well, it wasn't Biden's fault because everybody started hiring twice as many people as they needed to. Well, you couldn't get anybody. Uh, you know, you if can't because no, you're a Republican. No, you, you can't. You know, you can't hire people. People don't want to work on a lot of jobs, and that's why I thought this chat <laughs> GBT was so interesting because no, here we go back to that again. eventually <laughs> well uh, uh uh what's his name uh, uh um google is building a replacement a much better replacement for it the ceo of google was on the business news today phil yeah he chat came GBT. back to work chat gbt is for people like our former president it doesn't take much to use and it's not accurate 
Google well, is going to come up with something accurate. Well, Google hasn't come up with anything yet, and the the bottom line is that this technology is is. What do you mean they haven't come up with anything yet? What do you think they're using to run Google? Uh, they're using, uh, uh, you know. You don't think? Uh, am I, correct me if I'm wrong, Charlie. Aren't they using artificial intelligence for Absolutely. part of uh, Google? Uh, yeah. I you don't ever, use ever use Chad LBD, Bill. Whatever. I mean, you have an iPhone. You ever use iMessage? iMessage? Yeah, yeah, iPhone to iPhone when you text each other. Uh, no, you talk to your, talk your phone. How about when you talk to your phone for directions, like I know you do? Yeah, I do okay, that. That that that's artificial intelligence. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, bottom line is that isn't uh, creating the you ask it a question. It gives you an answer. But what this uh, chat BG, GBT is doing is it's learning uh, what it has to do and it, it'll eventually do it on its own. So does your map thing. Yeah. And that's been around a very for 10 basic years, way. Though. My map thing is not writing technical papers. Somebody and just wrote, Bernice, Bernice wrote, Bernice wrote, uh, how do you listen to Phil's nonsense? <laughs> no, and then Louise. Tell her to get on here Louise, Louise, Louise Zeitlin said, Phil yeah. is totally yeah, useless. Totally Good useless. night. Well, Cannot Louise deal. Zeitlin Cannot deal. Is, is a, is a, is a. AI, Google person. AI. <laughs> Google AI. So anyway, I, as I said, I think Biden's speech was chat the G GBT, you know. You think they uh, used that? Oh, yeah. Well, he was yelling. I mean, you know, he... He wasn't him. yelling one time. Even when he was heckled, he didn't raise his voice. She did heckle him, I heard, right? She yelled, lie at your girlfriend. Think about her for right now. The uh, Republican I was so happy. Why with do you watch that like? useless stuff? You wasted three hours of your life. Yeah. Well, it's a, oh. it's a, I, I used to watch those and I used to listen to every word coming out and all that stuff and take everything and then man now I don't listen to them anymore and, and I'm missing a thing it's the same thing they're going to talk about the exact same garbage Yeah, yeah they're, they're saying that the economy is so good just, just like Trump did just like Trump did yeah just well, like that's because the economy did. was good <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so you're, you're, you're the, the newest thing because of uh, because of Marjorie Trashcan Green, her yelling lie. Now the fact checkers are out there. She, she is backpedaling a lot of things in the yeah. past couple of weeks. Her homophobic comments a couple of weeks ago, her racist comments ever since she's been in Congress. Right. She's anti-Jewish. She's anti-Semitic. But now she's backpedaling all that stuff. So watch. Give it a week, and she'll backpedal the liar thing. You know, I'll, it's it's funny that. It. Uh, everybody accuses people of being anti-Semitic or uh, lying when they're actually the ones that are doing it, you know? Right. Uh, How's that? How's that where she's concerned? Well, uh, you know, I'm not going to support her because, uh, you know, she's making her own bed, uh, you know, but I don't support uh, Elon Omar either, who uh, they want Elon Omar? Videos. Yeah, yeah, that that. Sounds, Who's that? Uh, cool. Is that Elon Musk's uh, Muslim girlfriend? <laughs> what? Who is yes, that? that? Elon that, Omar. That is, that is the uh, woman that has uh, said that the Jews are just in it for the Benjamins. That's, that's no, you didn't. Oh my God. God. She said that. Yeah. Who is it? Wait, 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 hold on. Begin with. Remember that she is a Muslim, and she is rooting for the home team. Okay. No, she's uh, an American. And, and that, no, and and she's that she's American. seen her people. Be, be literally many times uh, harmed a great deal by the Jewish state, okay? And and the thousands of missiles that Hamas Believe me, believe me, the Israel. amount of missiles that Hamas has don't amount to a hill of beans compared to the weaponry that the state of Israel has. The right. state of Israel, state is, Israel the state it. of Israel is, you know about guns, the state of Israel is the number one distributor of weapons. Yes, Uzis. And, yeah. Uh, so I mean, don't tell me that they're they 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 need help for their you know to defend themselves. Well, there there were citizens. Uh, how many people were killed in in Jerusalem uh, last week uh, in, in attacks uh, by? Uh, uh, 
uh, terrorists that... Uh, I don't know. How many were there? Yeah, how many were I there? there was, I think there were 98. Uh, Jeff, do you, do you uh, follow the uh, Jewish news? No. It, no. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And neither does Phil. Yeah, I do. You know, when we were eating sushi Monday night, he started talking Republican politics and the fish left his plate. <laughs> right in his belly. <laughs> Come over here, you. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it left and, and went in my tummy. What, wait, wait, Jeff, is there a reason why you don't have any lights on there? Yeah. <laughs> why? Well, his energy bill's too high. House. What? I'm in somebody else's house. You're in somebody else's house? Do they know you're there? Yeah, that's what I was Are you thinking. lobbying it? <laughs> Do you know you're in the middle of a burglary and home. calling the show? He's got another stolen car out front. He doesn't want anybody to know about. <laughs> I would think the light I would think the, the light from his from his computer, computer would be giving him enough uh, light that, you know, we could see him better. Because we could see Charlie last week and because his, his uh, iPhone. He had a lantern. No, uh, but he also yeah, had an iPhone. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, no, he had a, a lantern. I had a lantern that, that, oh, that uh, okay. was behind the iPhone that yeah. lit up my face. Yeah. Well, anyway, so, um, uh, yeah, Phil. Well, you know, I mean, I just fine, think that, uh, uh, you know, I mean, heckling the president while he's giving his State of the Union message is just, it's considered inappropriate. Well, Kevin McCarthy know? didn't rip up his speech. Uh, and he even stood a couple of times when uh, when the president said, uh, are, are we going to eliminate or uh, deal with Social Security and Medicare? And uh, almost unanimous uh, people stood and said that they're not going to touch Social Security and Medicare. So now what are you guys going to do? Another when lie by the shout yeah. false False well, claims. Ron Johnson and Republicans. And well, there, there are already Republican. some Republicans who have already tried to float the uh, a bill yeah. to do away with. Uh, that's with right. It. Float it, but you, they there and, was. And that's what Biden it. said. Biden said, "Contact me, and I'll give you a copy of the bill that they've already floated." Yeah. They uh, and what almost unanimous uh, people stood up and said they weren't going to ch- they weren't going to change it. So what are you going to do? Lies. You believe this? It, stuff? It's another it's another talking. Point I didn't see how uh, I I understand they didn't unanimously get up and say that almost unanimous. What do you mean? Yeah. All, what's almost unanimous? Well, there might have been a That's few people that couldn't stand up. Thing, like in technology, Wade was set a law. I don't know. I saw a few clips of the thing, and the, and the Republicans, they must all be, like, handicapped because they don't stand up and applaud. Well, they stood up for that one. So, you know, uh, I guess... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Are you the guy that told me earlier you didn't see the speech last night? I saw a lot of it. I, I saw a lot of it, and then... What do you mean you know, saw a lot of it when it was broadcast originally? No, no, no. I saw it live. Mm-hmm. Uh, but at, at, at a point, I couldn't take it anymore. You know, uh, I, well, then you know how like we, like you. Like now you know yeah. how we feel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how, how long is, are you going to be lied to until you just say, okay, I'll uh, turn on. Well, you, like we, you have to ask that question about, about if Trump and me. <laughs> yeah, water. Yeah. We listen to four state of the union addresses from our yeah. president. Talk about yeah. all the lies. Well, this is as much as I take from you. When I drink all that, then I'm done with you. <laughs> when he what has is to, that? It's water, right? Just water. Yeah. yeah. When he has to pee, he's through. Yeah. You yeah. Anyway, so uh, let me see here. Anything? What else was happening? Did you get your backup battery, Alex? Yes, I got it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I probably will never have a use for it, but it's nice to. Unlike Mike Allen, I assume you know how to how it works. <laughs> yeah, I know how it works. Yeah. After Jack's show, Charlie and I last week spent a little time with Mike to explain how to right. charge it and then how to plug it into the phone. So, the one you sent me, it has a light on it. You press yeah. the on button. And yeah, it's yeah, the same, same LED light. Yeah, it's a very it's yeah. very good. It's just that I'm never going to need it. And Alex when is, actually, Alex, yours is. Top of the line compared to ours. It's it's a newer really? technology. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm. I, you know. I mean. I if I doubt if I'll ever. I doubt if I'll ever need it. But if I do, I'll probably say, where did I put that thing? 
Well, yeah. Charlie, yeah. Charlie <laughs> doubted if he needed it, and look what happened to him. Without it, he he wouldn't have had uh, his phone. He wouldn't have had the communication. Yeah. He knows he's going to need it another year from now, too. That's a sad thing. And listen, we, we never know when we're going to need it in New York. You know, we were known for our blackouts. Yeah. Yeah. So... Yep. No, yeah. uh, there could be an earthquake in the Bay Area uh, sometimes. And things like getting cash from the ATM, you won't be able to do. Communicating, you won't be able to do. There might be several days or weeks until, uh, if it's a large enough disaster. Look look in Turkey and Syria where they just had, yeah. what was it, 2,500 people uh, oh, killed? And who knows how many I heard more? it was 100,000 last year. Yeah, 100,000. Wow. That have been hurt, not killed. They were killed. Really? Because the last amount I saw was only something like 5,000. 7,000, I saw. 7,000? The good thing is, is the majority of them, 85%, like Phil says, are all Republicans, so we're okay. Uh, I knew uh, it. I knew it. Hold up the sing. Uh, Brian, (laughs) where's your thing? I knew he was going to say that. (laughs) Okay, check the box. (laughs) That's the one he always says, though. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Whatever it was, uh, this expert estimated that by the time we finished counting everything, it could be as many. Oh as yeah, they they had some. They had some gut wrenching video. Oh, it's like oh, all this yeah. rubble and this little baby is there. This little boy, maybe three years old, and he's saying, "Where's my mommy?" And they're like pulling him from the rubble. I mean, cement. And his mother's dead. His mother was dead. Yeah. 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 There was an infant. That was under the rubble for 60 hours, and oh they God. saved it. And I don't know. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Has it been 60 hours have passed yeah. since the earthquake? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That was a sweet yeah. 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 And um, the uh, I, there was video of a, of a couple of buildings collapsing. It, it yeah. was like a deck of, you know, the house of cards that just. Yeah. There were a lot of pictures of buildings uh, collapsing. But then again, you have to remember construction of. The construction is not as sound there as it is here in this country. Well, you remember what we had in the marina in 89. Yeah, sure. I was in the middle of it. Yeah. You know. Yeah, an earthquake like they had in Turkey in New York City would bring a lot of the city to yeah. ground. I, there's two I think there's a little bit different building codes than yeah. here and there. Yeah. Well, there was, what, 7.8? Yeah, 7. 7.8 and... is a hell of an earthquake. Yeah. Yeah. What was the other the last, one? It was two. The last one we had here in 89 was 7.1. Look yeah. at all the damage it did here in the Bay Area. Yeah, yeah, but, the, yeah but, uh, but, uh, but nevertheless, a lot of buildings in the Bay Area are built to withstand earthquakes. Absolutely. In the marina, the problem we had was the ones in the marina <clears throat> didn't, and they were also built on landfill. Yep, yep. So when they, they rebuilt them, when they rebuilt them, they put them on rolling foundations. Okay. Yeah, they so said that, it was like, a, like the peninsula rolled up like that and the marina at the end, you know, just sort of whipped up. Well, the thing is that the, if you have a rolling foundation, what they do is they take the foundation, they put it on rollers. So then when there's an earthquake, it can go back and forth with the earthquake. If it's just, you know, just nailed down to the ground and it's rigid, rigid will fall apart. Well, that's what okay. they were doing to the skyscrapers, like the Bank of America building is on the rollers. But, you know, these uh, duplexes that are in the marina, all they did was make them put shear wall up, and, 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 and then they also put bolts that uh, went through uh, to the brick that was outside. Or are you saying that's the what they did after the earthquake? Yeah, no, you're wrong, Phil. Code. You're absolutely wrong. They put oh, them, no, I, I know. They they put them all the on rolling code. foundations, Phil. I live How there. How do you put a duplex on a rolling foundation? They you did put them on a rolling foundation. Bank. The foundation can give. It can roll. Well, what was happening with a lot of these uh, buildings in the marina, they were just sitting on the foundation, uh, nailed to it. So what they did was they put bolts, uh, actually, uh, uh, bolts that went into the foundation through the plate uh through the sill plates and uh got it all wrong phil they, and they also they got it uh, whenever all wrong. there was brick they had these plates uh like by the way new new show square. coming on gabnet soon oh, science with phil 
<laughs> well, you know, they they had these these plates with bolts that went through it that uh, would hold up the facade. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know that what they did is they replaced entire foundations with rolling foundations. That's what they did throughout the entire marina. No. What do you mean? I, I no, know. I lived there, Phil. I was in the middle of that earthquake. I know yeah. what they did. Well, I, I was in the middle of that earthquake too. No, you weren't. You were over in the East Bay somewhere. Well, that's where I was living. But when no, I no. when the earthquake happened, I was at the stadium, coming you out of the bar. Well, so was everybody. Anyway, uh, I, was. I was coming out of the bar, and it took me thirteen hours to get home. Yeah. You but, and the Congressman Santos were together, right? Yeah. That guy had to tell the weeks, that guy. Man, and, was pitching that day. And, and my car was on Greenwich and Lombard. And because uh, another friend drove. I parked on Greenwich and Lombard, and he drove to the uh, – uh, uh, my friend Paul drove to the uh, stadium. And, you didn't uh, You didn't drop by my place to see if I was okay. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Su Susan and I, wait a minute. Susan and I came to your place about three days after the earthquake, and I, and I was helping people. Get, I was helping people get stuff out of their houses, because uh, certain houses were red tagged. I was able to get in, and so I was able to get their personal belongings, uh, put them in bags, toss them out the window, because some of these uh, houses in the marina were going to be demolished. Uh, Actually, very few of them the ever got. A, a, very few of them ever got demolished. There was one at the Visadero and, and Jefferson, and Je I think it was Jeff Jefferson that was leaning like this, and they managed to. Well, yes. Yeah. Well, that that was my ex-wife lived in that building uh, before we moved to Moraga, and the uh, across the street. The building fell two stories down. The no, third no, story no, one, was on one the, all was on over. No, that was two blocks down from me. And it was a, a, a three story building that became one story. And the story has it. What's funny about it, fun about it, is that there was a person on the top floor when it happened. And he wrote it right to the bottom and got out a window. Well, you know, yeah, just walked out. Yeah. Walked right out. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, Charlie. Charlie. Yes, according to the New York Times, as of 11 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, the death toll at the Turkey earthquake had passed 15,000. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It'll probably go close to 50. Well, they they have no idea how many people are still buried, yeah. and you know. Yeah. It, I mean, it was nighttime. People were asleep when this thing hit. Yeah, yeah and that was the problem. problem. They were find a lot more dead people as they do, yeah. you know. Wasn't it nighttime? The videos that I saw, the buildings falling down, looked like daytime. But I yeah, after it at after 10 shocks, yeah. So the aftershocks, Phil. Uh, yeah, the aftershocks crazy. had the the buildings collapse. Yeah, one of the aftershocks was seven point two. Seven, so yeah, seven point. I thought of seven point five, seven point two, something like that. Yeah. yeah. Pretty heavy duty. Wow. And it was all because uh, the. Everything was upset because of Turkey has gone seeds. up. Turkey is a lot more expensive now. <laughs> it's full of tryptophan. Yeah, no, it, no, it was, it was pretty, um, you know, it's a horribly horrible thing. It is a horrible, thing. you know, and but uh, again, you know, you you got you got to feel sorry for people who are in, in the middle of something like that, but we also have to remember that ultimately. Um, uh, nature trumps everything, you know, yeah. and um, you're going to have earthquakes. You know, I mean, I, when we lived in the Bay Area, we assumed we were going to have earthquakes. And the most, if you live in the Bay Area and you haven't felt an earthquake, then you're probably brain dead, you know, because we get little ones, you know, we get, get little tremors. Uh, and, and everybody goes, Did you feel that yet last night? Did you feel that? You know, um, well, but, but, but they don't amount to record. anything. For the record, I did go to your house within a couple of days of the earthquake to see if you needed any help, and all you did was show me your crack in the living room. Did I show you my crack in the living room? You showed me your crack. Did we did, did we did we smoke any of it? No. Oh, okay. No, okay. couldn't but, get to no, and I kept that, out of the way. I kept that crack in the wall. They wanted to, you know, paint it and fix it and everything, it. and I told them just leave it. I want it there I, because I can point to people and say, look. That's yeah. the earthquake. San Andreas Fault. 
If right it's got there. an opening, you can stick business cards in it. Yeah, right. No, it wasn't that bad. It was just a little, you oh, know. Crack. Hairline crack. Hairline crack. Well, it was yeah, the, a little bigger. Those units didn't have sheetrock. They had, like, plaster and lath. Well, there was a it, no, but there was also like a canvas over it or something like that, as I remember. There was a you know, really? it, but it, was, it was it was it was. But anyway, so I well, I went through that earthquake. So so did everybody, you know. Yeah. But I was in an area that really got hit by it, and then I at that point went to Florida, moved to Florida for about three months. So while they were doing the apartment, um. Uh, I had somebody staying there, and they actually moved them up to the top floor to an empty apartment because they were working below, and there was going to be a lot of noise and drilling and things like that. By the time I got back, the building was all fixed and yeah. okay, you know. But uh, it was, you know, it was amazing to me that where we lived was in the marina, which was very heavily hit by this earthquake because oh. it is all on. Um, uh, 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 liquid soil. It, well, uh, it, it's it's well, what, well. What it was, it was all landfill Filled. for the right. Pan American Exposition. And yeah. after the Pan American Exposition was over with, they then started building apartments there and buildings there for people to live in. And the only thing left was the Palace of Fine Arts from the Pan American Exposition. And uh, uh, it, it was, uh, you know, it was it was quite something. Uh, and it was quite a quite a, uh, um, uh, a, a quake, and it was it was scary. It was very scary. Um, but I was watching TV, waiting for a pizza to be delivered. My girlfriend was sitting here, and and the quake hit. Now we're not in San Francisco or in Fremont, and I said, "Eh, that's no big deal. I've been through worse." And she says, let's watch the ball game and turn the TV on <laughs> right when the news helicopter is going by the Bay Bridge and showing the Bay Bridge collapse. You know it. The Bay and Bridge, the marina, oh, yeah, the collapse, yeah. There. And, in, and in the distance, you could see the marina, the smoke from the fires. You know what, ama and, you know, from you know what amazed me? <laughs> My girlfriend was with me at the time. Uh, actually, the funny part about it was we had broken up, and this kind of made us come back together again this event wow, but crazy. anyway um we're we're we go up we go up to visit Darrow, and then we come down the other end and that's when the earthquake hits and we know and i noticed something was wrong because my car was just bouncing down the street i, I put the brakes on and it keeps going yeah. and then finally when i got to the bottom i suddenly noticed that the wires up above that the buses, buses. use for electricity we're all swaying back and forth, and people were pouring out into the street. And I said, my God, what just happened? We must have had an earthquake. So I turned around, I went back. And as we're driving down to visit Darrow, she says to me, look, uh, that building, there, uh, there's uh, some, some frontage that has fallen to the ground. And I said, well, look over there. That building used to be there. You know, and we went back to the apartment, Tried to get out of the car on her side, and she couldn't get out because the 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 curb had gone up about uh, about six inches, enough that you couldn't open the door. Well, the central freeway there too. Yeah. So Last what day. happened? And this was amazing about me. So finally, I said to her, "You know, I think we really should try to go to Marin, and go see my business manager, and maybe we can even stay over there or whatever. But let's just get out of here." So as we're leaving, I'm driving the car out, and all of a sudden I look over the street to the right of me, and people are really, you know, having to deal with this thing, and I got out to kind of see if I could help. And she said, no, let's just get going across the bridge, you know. And I went, well, hold on a second. I'm very calm. I was amazed at how calm I was. And then finally said, okay, now we'll get, get in the car, We'll drive across the bridge. Well, how do we know the bridge isn't going to just, you know? And I said, look, it's only a minute and a half across that bridge, okay, if it's not packed. The Golden uh, Gate. Yeah, it's the Golden Gate. It, you know, it, it will make it across, okay? No, no, we can't. And she's the one that's panicking. Mm -hmm. And I thought in that kind of situation, she'd be the that one who would be calm, and I'd be the one who was panicking. 
And I was just being, oh, come on, let's just get over to Marin. And then we got over to Marin and we went to my business manager's How long place. were you over in Marin? Well, I can't remember what I did from there. I, I don't, I, we did go back to the city. Did go there back no to the city. There was no electricity in the city, though. Uh, there was no electricity, you're right. But I managed to get back to the city, park the car, go up to my apartment. I think I, could I get in the garage? No, I don't think I could. I went up back upstairs and we went to... Uh, we went to sleep, uh, but not after we didn't just absolutely have real hot monkey sex. <laughs> and and I wondered about that because I in, uh, I interviewed somebody who was an expert on tragedies and things like that, and I said and I noted this to him about how my girlfriend and I were in the middle of the earthquake, and that night we made had sex with each other almost better than any sex we had ever had in our relationship. It was just really, you know. And he said, oh, that happens all the time. He said, people have sex with each other after something like that because there's something primal in us that wants to maintain the species. Uh, and then then right when you were getting ready to have an orgasm, the doorbell rang and it was Phil. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Phil. But anyway. No, it, it was... Trump at Mar-a-Lago, right? <laughs> anyway, woke, we woke I, I it up. It. We woke up the, you know. He uh, said uh, everyone. And he was Jewish. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but we had, um, uh, that night, uh, there was something about, just about the, the smoke in the air, right? And the lights flashing that kind of made it really interesting. Eerie, yeah. yeah. And then the next morning we woke up. And it was the sunniest day, and it was just the brightest day you could ever, ever imagine. And I was told that in the 1906 earthquake, the day afterwards, was the same way. Oh, wow. It was just a, a beautiful, beautiful day. You ever uh, notice that before an earthquake, that the air is very still and uh, it, it's it's. Quieter. They always used to talk about earthquake weather. Weather, yeah. It's, it's, and it's, and it's I, I, I never saw that as a. Yeah, when I, when was the 06 earthquake? What what month? Is it? <laughs> was it the same month? Was it October? Oh, okay, hold on a second. Echo, what, what day of the week was the 1906 San Francisco earthquake? According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the 1906 San Francisco earthquake struck the coast of Northern California at 5.12 a.m. on Wednesday, April 18, with an estimated moment magnitude of 7.9 and a maximum mercury intensity of 11. Now you see that 7.9 uh, was more than the, more than the Loma Prieta. I was wondering, yeah, what the day of the week, if the day of the week was the same day of the week. But it was, it was a Wednesday. Wednesday. It was Wednesday. It was a Wednesday. Yeah, yeah, but it was five in the morning, whereas it was five at night when the uh, earthquake five, hit. Five oh four. Yeah, twelve yeah. hours difference. Except well, for was, I, think it, she, I think she said twelve oh four or twelve oh five. Well, you know, it, it, what destroyed San Francisco wasn't the earthquake. It was the fire. It was the fire. Yeah. yeah. Because. What it did is is the city wasn't ready for it, and all the water mains uh, were not made earthquake-proof because they didn't have an earthquake before that. They didn't even think about it. And what it did is just completely destroyed all the water mains, and when a fire broke out, they couldn't put it out. So, yeah. I don't know if you saw the, Alex, I don't know if you saw the San Bruno fires, but yeah. that one was, that was really crazy. So it was like around... The sunset time and your San Bruno Mountains, all those homes there. Well, I think one, one, one few uh, gas line bursts yeah. and caught on fire, and they couldn't shut anything off. So went to the next homes. house and the next house and the next house, and there are all these homes on this neighborhood wow. that well, were that, on fire. Well, that was during the Loma Prieta. No, 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 no. This was the, about, about 10 years ago, I guess. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it was. Uh, it was 11 homes, I think, that burned. Right. Yeah, and it's crazy to see line. just this home and just you know just filling the. Yeah, it wasn't they, like it was a structure fire. It was all the, you know, the gas. Well, they thought at first the jet crashed. Mm. Yeah, because it's near the airport. Yeah, near the airport, the 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 they sent out uh, people mm. to, and they did a head count all the jets that took off and landing in that time because that the planes when they take off they go kind of over that well, area. My question here is what kind of situation like an earthquake or like a tornado or like any one of a number of other things can happen 
happen in an area. Which one frightens you the most? Earthquake. Probably an attack, uh, like, uh, you know, uh, some sort of military attack. No, 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 no. We're not talking about that. We're talking about natural. Hey, natural. natural. Alan said natural. Military <clears throat> attack. Uh, I don't know. Was, earthquakes don't bother earthquakes me. Earthquakes don't bother me either because I've, I've yeah. lived with them all my life. You know, yeah, no, fire. You don't know when they're coming. I fire. think I think tornadoes scare the crap out of me. Yeah, but you know when you know when the weather is going to be bad, and you know when a, when the possibility of a tornado. Yeah, but you don't know where the tornado is going to go, because they're they they are they, you know you hear here comes a tornado. Well, do you just stand your ground or you try and run? But that tornado can just run wherever you're running. So your but best. Then they, still, hmm? they still build again. I don't get these people. Well, you and know, it's it's, it's it's not it's not difficult to build a new trailer. You know, yeah, so right. well, all you, you need is a hose. Well, you need a because I hear about I hear I hear about these I hear about these tornadoes hitting trailer parks. And I say that, well, you know, have to expect that you're going to have a problem with your home when the only thing anchoring it to the ground is a garden hose, you know. So, I mean, it... it, it, it those things, they're tin cans, they're on stilts, and a, a, and a good gust of wind are going to blow them over anyway. Yeah, you know? but I mean... Well, I'm a an earthquake if you went out to East Livermore Trailer Park it looked like somebody grabbed the trailers and twisted them a little bit. Yeah. The whole trailer. Well, I think it was up. it was Will Durst who once described, um, 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 you know, tornadoes as God's bowling alley. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except for this, the ball doesn't come at you; the pin comes at. Yeah, you. but I mean, it was really, but you know, but I, and, you know, in every area you live in, there's some kind of climatological problem that can hit. New York, it's we don't have much. I mean, we have probably exactly. snow is the worst thing we can get, but we yeah, haven't even gotten that in quite a while. What else is there, Tony? Well, you yeah. know what scares me now over here, at least where we live, since the sewer systems they're redoing them, is when we get heavy rain now in this area of Queens, it floods it floods the basements if the sewers can't take the water. Biden actually came to this part of Queens, Alex, when the when the uh, the basement apartment about five blocks away, fought it up, the people died, and it was, couldn't take the water, they couldn't get out, it was an illegal apartment. And I there was one inch hur out. Hurricane you, Sandy, when all those people were yeah. out on the rug, on their mattresses or whatever, floating in between buildings and stuff. Yeah, or up in their attics. Yeah, occasionally we'll get a hurricane cold. here. Occasionally we'll get a hurricane here. That, that That's when Trump showed us, he got a little boat, was handing out rolls of toilet paper. That Remember, was he was flipping the toilet paper. That was, that was, was no, that was it. That was in Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, yeah. Oh, went, and, and he was sitting there throwing, like throwing the toilet paper at people. I mean, giving them, a, giving them a great, <laughs> a roll, giving them, yeah, yeah, giving them a great sense of dignity. You know, it looked so cheap. Like here, here, take it, your bum. It looked bad. It really did look bad, Phil. He, he was not, flipping it at them. He like they were, send, people he people send poor. FEMA money out to Puerto Rico because they weren't. <laughs> they should have threw it back at him. It's just giving some Americans. Money. Yeah, That's what he uh, said. I think they had plenty of of aid going to them, <laughs> including water that sat on runways uh, and 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 spoiled. You know, bottles of water. Millions of well, them. Puerto Ricans are Americans. Yeah, yeah. not yeah. according to Trump. Trump didn't realize that. <laughs> no, I don't think that. that's true. Yeah, but, he wouldn't have said that. No, but he he did out. say that. He said they aren't Americans, and they are Americans. Yeah, they are Americans. Yeah, you know, uh, it, he was there uh, giving aid and trying to do what he does. If he runs again, you're going to vote for him. Uh, if he runs, if he's the nominee, yes. He erased uh, that five I, times. No. I, if he's not the nominee, uh, then uh, I hope that it's DeSantis. And if You'd it's like not to say either one of them, uh, then it's Marjorie Taylor Greene, and I'd vote yeah. for her. <laughs> He'll do anything for her. <laughs> I don't think. Like, you know, I, you'd call for the whole place for, for this one. I don't know that DeSantis, DeSantis is necessarily a shoe in for the nomination. I don't, Nobody's a shoe in. Or that he is even going to do it. Yeah, that, I don't. I think he wants it, though. I think he's afraid of Trump. No, I don't think I he's think afraid Trump. of Nobody's afraid no, of Trump, Trump. Trump's nothing. I don't know. I, don't, I think Trump got dirt on people. No, Trump will go after him in, in his Trumpian oh. way. 
and he'll wound him it's too uh, badly and it will affect if he Second does goalie. get nominated it will it'll create a problem and he really said he knew something the nod, trump you know DeSantis could kick trump out of florida <laughs> i don't think so but uh you know you, you think about it florida uh, natural disasters mm -hmm. you got hurricanes yeah uh, yeah new york i guess you know you could have uh we get hurricanes snow. here you know. Yeah, but you, your snows, you, you have uh, heavy uh, amounts of snow that shuts the city down. Compared and, to Florida, they do, yeah. You know, well, no. Not, well, I think, I think you want to talk about a natural disaster. What was COVID to New York? New York was probably yeah. the worst hit city in America when it came to COVID. Am I right, Charlie? Yeah. yeah. COVID hit New York the hardest. Probably L.A. and maybe parts of Texas. Well, because we were also the first city to get it. Yeah. Because all those people are coming over, you know, from You're Europe on, on Europe. planes, yeah. and we didn't know what was coming over here. And all of a sudden, you know, we're, we're, all of a sudden, all our hospitals are filling up and overflowing. And and the so they were taking them out of body bags. He stands even. up there and says, it's no worse than a cold. Don't worry about it. Trump, yeah. Trump yeah. got the hospital ships uh, into New yeah. York. He also, uh, you know, uh, got all of the uh, the uh, respirators that they needed. He did. Uh, and yes, uh, thousands. Oh. Of you're you're, you're oh. questioning that fact, uh, Alan. All, Alan? All, all I know is, no matter all of us on this panel right now, the only thing that's going to be guaranteed natural disaster again is Charlie in the dark a year from now. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, the winter's not over with. He may be That's right. Yeah. We still got six he's more got weeks to Charlie, do you need anything? I'll send a package down for you. Charlie, have we, talk, have we talked about your shirt? What's your shirt? Oh, that's uh, April the 8th, 2024. Total eclipse, visible here in Austin. Oh, wow. Except you won't be able to power up your, micro, your, your telescope because you won't have any electricity. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Most telescopes don't require electricity. Hey, Alan, it's funny. You were you were uh, during the earthquake. You were with your girlfriend. Was that righty or lefty? <laughs> <laughs> what? I can't believe I'm coming to visit. Yeah, I don't know who can, who can figure out what he just he said. He said he was with his girlfriend during the earthquake. I was wondering, was that righty or lefty? He's actually funny, I think, Alex. He's funny. Really? Funny uh, really? Yeah. Really? I actually, wait a minute. The, the, the only wanna, other person on this panel, the only you, other Tony. person on this panel that finds him funny is Phil. No, oh, Tony. <laughs> yeah, I think he's entertaining. And, and, I and Tony, Tony, who are you talking Tony's about, funny. me or Phil? Well, you're funny, too, in your own way. But, like, the way you fight with each other, I enjoy it. <laughs> and you're talking to the guy who just had seeds implanted in That's his true, body. Brian. <laughs> He's like, my brother, voice of reason. That's right, Brian. What He's type right. of seeds? Were they bird seeds, like sunflower seeds? They're or? marigolds. Marigolds. <laughs> they are. I are, They are. They sprout. Uh, they, they sprout the wait marigolds. A minute. They, are, uh, they are radioactive seeds. Yes, I'm, I'm going to be like Peter Parker. I hope I can crawl the walls. I always wanted to be Peter Parker. Alex, how long did they take to, to get on, on whatever they're doing? What? What do you mean? Well, aren't they gold and they're supposed to deteriorate or something? They, like they, they, they're good for about three months and then they... And and you're, no more. Yeah. No more. Yeah. You know. Um, now, the first time you went to get the seeds, Alex, they were out of them or they didn't have them? No, they, what they didn't have is a, your perineum. They have to go in there. That's where they go yeah. in and there's a device they have to place there they forgot to order it uh, yeah oh, shit. and if i had waited one more week i wouldn't have been able to get my prostate seeds oh. because then they closed down all the hospitals oh. for what they considered oh. non-essential surgery That's okay so, so yeah. i was very lucky what and and i got oh. and i got my review the other day you know um I'm uh, You're gonna live for another year till I get yeah, yeah, yeah. Well there's no uh yeah, I have nothing. You know. Yeah. I'm what what's the term uh, they use? I, oh. not non detectable. Non well I got mine on Monday. Well actually I had to test Monday, I got the results too. What did they say? A uh, non detectable. Okay, we're two non detectables. 
Let's yeah, see what char what what. Uh, wait, a minute, wait a minute, that was for your brain, though, Phil. Yeah. I thought. Yeah, you're right. You got a point there. Hey, Phil, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you. I for like having, having you here because I like annoying people. It's my way of doing it. <laughs> well, uh, you're now a New Yorker, and that's what we do. Charlie, thank you so much, and uh, uh, of course, uh, Tony, glad got you. Glad you got you joined the the Happy Seed Club. Yay! Yeah. I'm not gonna and die. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Thank you very much, Alan. Uh, I can barely see him, but Jeff, hi. Hi. Thanks for having joined us. And uh, go someplace where you can get light tomorrow night. Uh, also, uh, thanks to Brian as well. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. And we'll have another one get together again tomorrow night. Uh, in the meantime... Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He'll be here with uh, what we like to think of as the intersection. And he'll be taking your calls on Skype at GabNet Live. I'm Alex Bennett. See you tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Night, everybody.